In the harsh, unforgiving landscapes of Mongolia, a future conqueror was born. Amid the sprawling steppes, under the expansive azure skies emerged a child named Temujin. Born into the Borjigin clan, Temujin was the son of a tribal leader, destined for a life rife with struggle, hardship, and ultimately triumph. From an early age, adversity was Temujin's constant companion. His father's untimely demise thrust him into a world of politics and power struggles. Poverty, betrayal, and even slavery marked these formative years. But it was through these challenges that the future Genghis Khan honed his survival instincts, sharpened his strategic thinking, and developed an indomitable spirit. These trials were not mere obstacles but stepping stones that shaped a young boy into a leader, a strategist, a conqueror. The experiences of his youth planted the seeds of resilience, courage, and ambition. These early experiences laid the foundation for a life that would change the course of history. From humble origins, Temujin ascended to become the leader of the Mongols. His early years were marked by struggle and hardship, shaping him into a resilient and resourceful leader. Born into a nomadic tribe in the harsh steppes of Mongolia, he was thrust into a world of tribal warfare and political intrigue. His rise began with a seemingly impossible task, the unification of the Mongol tribes. A feat never achieved before, it required a combination of strategic alliances, military prowess, and sheer force of will. Temujin, now taking the title Genghis Khan, meaning universal ruler, managed to rally the tribes under one banner, creating a sense of shared identity among the Mongols for the first time. This unification was not a mere consolidation of power. It marked the birth of the Mongol Empire, a vast and formidable force that would come to dominate much of the known world. The empire was more than a collection of tribes, it was a sophisticated political entity, with a structured military, a codified legal system, and an efficient administrative apparatus. Genghis Khan's military campaigns were instrumental in expanding his empire. But it wasn't just his exceptional skills as a warrior that made these campaigns successful. His strategies relied on a deep understanding of his enemies, careful planning, and innovative tactics. He harnessed the mobility and speed of his horse-riding warriors, used psychological warfare to intimidate his foes, and adopted new technologies to gain an edge in battle. These campaigns were not just about conquest, they were also about establishing control and order. Genghis Khan implemented a strict code of law known as Yasa to govern his vast territories. He established a postal system for efficient communication, introduced a uniform system of taxation, and promoted trade and commerce. Genghis Khan's leadership transformed a fragmented group of tribes into a formidable empire. His rise from the ashes is a testament to his strategic brilliance, indomitable spirit, and vision for a united Mongol nation. Behind the fearsome warrior lay a shrewd diplomat and a surprisingly tolerant ruler. In the annals of history Genghis Khan is often depicted as a brutal conqueror, his name synonymous with destruction and death, yet what many fail to acknowledge is his adeptness at diplomacy. He understood the power of alliances and how they could be used to strengthen his dominion. Indeed he was a master at turning enemies into allies, a skill as crucial to his successes as his military prowess. One of his notable diplomatic strategies was the establishment of a sophisticated network of spies and informants. This network allowed him to gather crucial information about potential allies and adversaries, helping him make strategic decisions. Beyond espionage, he also used marriage alliances to cement relationships, a common practice among the nomadic tribes of Mongolia. Equally surprising might be Genghis Khan's policy of religious and cultural tolerance. In contrast to the prevailing norms of the Middle Ages, he allowed freedom of religion within his vast empire. From Christians and Buddhists to Muslims and shamanists, all were permitted to practice their faith openly. This policy of tolerance extended to culture as well. Art, music and literature flourished under his rule, and he welcomed scholars, artisans and traders from different cultures, fostering a climate of cultural exchange. And then there are the lesser-known stories, the anecdotes that add layers to Genghis Khan's character, Stories like the one about the nightingale that he kept as a pet, which he believed brought him good luck. Or his love for the simple pleasures of life, like horseback riding in the vast Mongolian steppe, even when he was the ruler of the largest empire in the world. These lesser-known aspects of Genghis Khan's rule highlight his complexity as a leader. They reveal a man who was not only a fearsome warrior but also a shrewd diplomat, a tolerant ruler, and a human being with his own quirks and passions. A man who, like all of us, was more than the sum of his deeds. Genghis Khan's influence resonates through the annals of history. 
The Mongol Empire at the height of its power, stretched from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe, creating the largest contiguous land empire in history. This was not an accident, but the result of a remarkable vision and relentless drive. Genghis Khan's legacy is multifaceted. He was a ruthless conqueror, yes, but also a visionary leader who brought about significant administrative and legal innovations. His Yasa, the code of law, introduced a level of order and discipline previously unseen in the Mongol tribes. This law, emphasizing loyalty, obedience and unity, served as the bedrock of his empire. His influence on subsequent leaders cannot be understated. From his own descendants who continued to expand and rule the Mongol Empire, to modern military strategists studying his tactics, Genghis Khan's imprint is evident. His principles of mobility, psychological warfare and intelligence gathering have shaped many a battle plan, yet perceptions of Genghis Khan are complex and ever-evolving. In the West he is often portrayed as a barbaric invader, a symbol of destruction and terror. However in Mongolia and many parts of Asia, he is revered as a national hero, a symbol of strength and unity. This dichotomy is a testament to the profound impact of his rule. Modern historians are re-evaluating his legacy, recognizing the cultural exchanges facilitated by the Mongol Empire. The Silk Road, under Mongol control, became a vibrant trade route, allowing the flow of goods, ideas and technologies between East and West. The Mongol Empire in many ways set the stage for the interconnected world we live in today. In the end the legacy of Genghis Khan is a potent reminder of the indelible mark one man can leave on history. His story is not one of unmitigated good or evil, but a testament to the complexities and contradictions inherent in human nature and the relentless march of history. Genghis Khan's legacy serves as a potent reminder of the indelible mark one man can leave on history. Beyond the battlefield and throne, Genghis Khan was a man of many layers. His personal life, often overshadowed by his military conquests, provides a fascinating glimpse into the man behind the Mongol warrior. Genghis Khan was a family man at heart. His marriages, particularly to his first wife Borta, were not merely political alliances but deep bonds of love and respect. He fathered numerous children many of whom played significant roles in the Mongol Empire's expansion. These family dynamics, filled with both affection and conflict reveal a side of Genghis Khan that history books often overlook. His relationships extended beyond the confines of his family. Genghis Khan forged friendships and alliances with a diverse group of individuals ranging from fellow Mongol leaders to foreign dignitaries. His personal network was vast and varied, reflecting his ability to connect with people from different walks of life. But Genghis Khan wasn't just a warrior and a leader, he was also a man of culture and intellect. He had a passion for poetry and the arts, and he encouraged these pursuits within his empire. This enthusiasm for intellectual and artistic endeavors paints a richer, more nuanced picture of the Mongol conqueror. Of course Genghis Khan's personal life was not without controversy. Rumors and myths swirled around him, some of which persist to this day. From tales of his prodigious progeny to speculations about his death, these controversies add a layer of intrigue to his already captivating story. In understanding the man behind the legend, we gain a more holistic picture of Genghis Khan, his personal life with its joys and struggles its passions and controversies provides a deeper understanding of one of history's most influential figures. It reminds us that behind every great leader, there is a person with dreams, desires and dilemmas, a person who is shaped by their experiences and relationships, a person who is, ultimately, human. In understanding the man behind the legend, we gain a more holistic picture of Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, a name synonymous with power, conquest and empire. We've journeyed through his early struggles, his rise to power and glimpsed at the untold aspects of his rule. We've seen a leader who not only conquered lands but also won hearts with his diplomatic skills and tolerance. We've learned of his administrative innovations, military strategies and the complexity of his personal relationships. This exploration has revealed a Genghis Khan who was not just a warrior, but a man of many facets, a leader, a diplomat, a father, a friend. And while his legacy is marked by both glory and controversy, it's this very complexity that makes him such a compelling figure in our shared history. As we delve deeper into the lives of historical figures we uncover layers of complexity and humanity beneath the surface of their legends.